Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at how we can add a jar file to our project in Eclipse. And so we're going to take a look at using the uh, Turtles and More jar I've created to work with the media computation files that we have from the uh, Georgia Tech University. So we can go over here right now. I've got my project right here, my adding jar demo. As you can see, I've got my runner. Pretty basic, just starts it up. My control right now is totally empty because I haven't had any code inside it on purpose because we're going to actually add this stuff into the information so we can actually work with it. So over here in my finder window, you can see I've got my downloads directory specified and we can see I've got my turtles and more jar. And so the first thing we want to do in order to actually work with this, I want to put this inside the same folder as my project so that I have my information always right there as part of my code. Especially if I take this project home to a different machine, my jar file is included with it and I have access to it immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and just do command C to copy that. I'm going to go over to my adding jar demo folder, which is in that same thing so it's right here in my uh, Java demos project where I'm working with right here. I'm going to just right click and I'm going to paste it right inside that same location so I've got turtles and more jar. I right click on my project to refresh you can see I've got my turtles and more jar. It's actually right there so it showed up right inside my project but I don't want to show up as a project right there. What I need to do is I need to actually tell Eclipse that this project is something I want to work with. So instead I'm going to right click on my project. I'm going to go down over here to the build path section and in build path I'm going to go over to the add external archives. I want to add an external archive because a jar file is really just a Java archive and this is an external archive. Yes it's in the same project but Again, I'm keeping it right here so my projects are always hold together. It makes it really easy to work with. So I click on Add External Archives. I'm going to go inside my Documents folder. You can see I've got my Java Demos folder right here. And inside Java Demos, oh, look, there's the Adding Jar Demo. And right there, there's that Turtles and More jar. I can grab that and select it right here. So I'm going to click on that and choose Open. And now it changes over here. I've got a reference library. So now that library is right here. I can actually reference it inside my code. So now I have access to actually use all the code that's inside that library. If I click on the triangle down here in the reference library, you can see that I've got my media.model, that package that's inside that. And inside that media.model package, I have access, oh, there's all the class files I have access to. So you can actually see what's inside that by looking inside and browsing through that library. You can see all the class files that are a part of that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, bring that over here. Just close that down so I don't have to have it uh, taking up so much space. I'm going to go to my source folder, go to my controller. And inside my controller, we're going to make it so we can have an, um, a reference to it. So the first thing you have to do, because as we saw inside that, it's the media.model package. So I'm going to import that media model. I'm going to import everything from it because I want to get access to it. So I'm going to do import. I'm going to do media.model. And I'm just going to do dot asterisk because that way I don't have to worry about where everything is and I have access to everything that's at that root directory level of that model package which in fact is actually the only directory uh, level of that. So that gives me access to everything inside that. Now I've got my yellow and red of uselessness but that's okay because we'll go ahead and use a couple things really fast. I'm just going to quickly make a world in here. So I'm going to make a world and I'm going to call it my world and it's going to equal new world. I'm going to pass it false as the parameter. And that my world right here we can see is, oh, it's in media.model.world. And so I have access to that information inside that. So if I hadn't done that import right here, if I just delete that right there, it doesn't know what world is. But because I have that import, it can go ahead and look inside that reference library in the media.model package, the one that we have access to. And so I've got new world false. And I'm going to go ahead and make a turtle. And it's going to be called cute turtle equals new turtle. I'm going to pass it my world because it's going to live in my world. And I'm just going to set that up right here. So I've got my turtle and I'm going to tell my turtle, cute turtle dot forward. And so make it so I can actually see my world. I'm going to do my world dot set visible. I'll pass it true and I'll go ahead and hit play on this and boom. We have my lovely world right here. I've got my cute turtle. It's green and it went forward. You can see that by that lovely line. And so the way we did that again, all we have to do is we go to our finder window. We grab the download folder of the jar that we need to work with. We place it inside the root directory of our project. I go over my uh, Eclipse project right here. I right click on the project. I go down to build path. I go to external archives and I choose that jar file that I just put inside the project. As you can see right here, it's inside my adding jar demo. There's my turtles and more jar and it's going become specified in my reference library. I can browse that reference library by looking inside the package attached to it and you can see all the files that are inside there that you have access that you can use as part of this. I hope this is a helpful way to actually go through and work with jar files and have a great day in doing some cool Java projects. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers.